VMI wins seven to six. The Keenets, the final line score, seven runs, ten hits, and two errors. VMI stranded seven. For James Madison, six runs, 12 hits, no errors. And the Dukes stranded nine. As you look at some of the highlights, and there was a sacrifice fly early in that uh, plated VMI's first run. That was by Peyton Maddox. Then Colin Fleischer followed with a two-run shot, his 13th home run of the year, and that made VMI a 3-1 lead after one inning of play. James Madison able to come back. There's a double down the left field line by Bradley McKay. But then BMI, a two-run shot by Josh Hollifield. And that extended the margin for the Keenets. Kyle Stats was wonderful tonight, Chris. Four solid innings. And without his pitching performance, BMI not able to win this game tonight. That, to me, was the play of the game. VMI able to get some insurance, a wild pitch. Able to play to run. That was actually a pass ball in the fifth inning. Tyler Tharp coming in to score. JMU would not go away, able to string together some hits. Here's the last play of the game. Trombley throws to first to retire the pinch hitter Hayes. And the Keenets win it by a score of 7-6 to six with the win. VMI is now 22-29. and 29. They wrap up their non-conference schedule. James Madison now all at 524-24. and 24. 